and welcome to my YouTube channel Adi Lab Genius. In today's session, we are taking Excel Chapter 4 Simulation Exam. I will guide you through this exam step by step, making it easy for you to follow and you can done your exam by watching this video. You can contact me for your assignment, exam, quizzes or complete course through my WhatsApp and email. My WhatsApp and email are given in the description and shown on my PC screen. Let's start our exam to solve step by step. Freeze the top row of the worksheet. Okay. Click on freeze pane and unfreeze the top row. Click on freeze pane and unfreeze pane. Okay, it's done now. Question number two is that click uh, cell B4 and freeze the pins above the fit. Okay. And B4 and then go to view tab and then freeze pane and freeze pins. Okay, question is completed now. Now, next question is that display the worksheet in page break preview. Click on view tab and click on page break break preview okay insert a page break preview and uh, 39 and 40 row 39 and 40 okay scroll down 39 click on 39 and row 40 and click on page break preview and okay go to page layout go to breaks and insert page break okay insert a page break between 39 and 40 Okay, break and insert page break. Click on break and insert page break. Okay, it's done now. Question is completed now. Now, question number three is that set range A3 to G12 uh, as you print area. First, we select this range and then go to page layout and then click on print area. Okay, first, we select this range. Okay, and then Okay, a three G uh, third twelve. Okay, and then <coughs> click on page layout and click on print area, set print area. Okay. Okay, select this range. Print area, change the scaling to ninety percent. Okay. So you can change the scaling 90 percent then create the print area okay create the print area. question is completed now so, select rows one to three as title to repeat on each page first we will select this row okay go to page layout go to page setup okay rows to repeat a rows one to three it's done now and then press ok Okay, select column A and title to repeat each page. Look at the first three pages in print preview and then print the worksheet. Okay, you can select this page setup. You can column to repeat or left. You can select this as three pages in search preview, then print area, column to repeat on, then press OK. Scroll down. You can set this. Okay, question is completed now. With cell A3 selected, create a table from the existing data accept, accepting the default setting. With cell A3 selected, you can select first cell A3 and then okay, on the table design tab, group click to name tab, you can change the name of table. Download Emplorium. Okay, you can change the name of tables. Download Emplorium. Okay, and then press enter. You can select this, change the name of table. Download Emplorium. Download Emplorium. E M B L O R I M. E M B L O R I U M. Then press enter. Okay, question is completed now. Now, next question is uh, question six. Delete the writer table column from the table only. Delete the writer table. Click on column. Uh, okay. Tab donate and cell H3. Okay, click on cell H3 and tab donate. 
in formula bar donate okay then press enter and tap profit and sell i3 click on sell i3 and tap profit okay question is completed now now next question is question number seven add a new table row on row 30 add a new table row on row 30 okay click on row 30 right click on this and then insert row tap pi in the sky in cell 30 and tap pg in cell p30 v30 okay pi in the sky in cell a30 and pg in cell v30 in the press tab okay tap garbage man in cell a59 and tap r in cell b59 click on cell a59 then we will have to tap this garbage man here you can tap garbage man in cell a59 okay and tap r in cell b59 click on cell b59 tap r and the question is completed now next question is that remove duplicates record in the table accept the default setting in the remove duplicates dialog box <coughs> click on table design click on remove duplicates okay select all and then press ok two duplicates value found and remove 54 unique value remain then press ok okay question is completed now no question number nine is that apply red table style medium 10 to the table click on table and click on table design and apply red table style medium 10 red table style medium 10 okay you can apply this question, question is completed now now next question is that in cell h4 calculate the donation amount by multiplying by the streaming ratio amount by percentage in cell I1 using absolute reference as needed. Click on cell H4 four and then you can apply uh, enter a formula streaming revenue multiplying by percentage in cell I1. Okay, then press enter, it will be shown values here. In cell I4, calculate the profit by subtracting the donate from the streaming revenue. You can enter a formula here is equal to okay duration and sorry streaming revenue minus donation okay it will be shown value here question is completed now now next question is that show the total rows select the sum function for the donation and profit columns click on total row and then you can scroll down this table and select the sum function for the donation and profit column okay here you can uh, click on donation column and then you can click on sum okay sum function of question is completed now now next question is that sort the table by drag and draw in alphabetical order sort the table is director in alphabetical click on okay sort and filter streaming revenue from the largest to smaller okay sort some uh, largest to smaller okay question is completed now now next question is that sort the table to general in alphabetical order click on general and then alphabetical a to z alphabetical okay use the sort dialog box and add second level sort by drag to alphabetical order and then third level sort by stream revenues from the largest to smallest okay sort and filter first general and then second is that drag to and third level is that okay you can see third level is that streaming streaming revenues okay largest to smallest then press ok question is completed now you can see here
Now change the order for the genre sort level to the following custom list comedy, dramas, adventures, horror, foreign. Okay, click on sort and filter. Sort level. Okay. Change the order from the general sort levels. Okay, click on general column and then click on uh, sort uh, go home tab and go to sort and filter. Okay, then add level. Add level is that custom list. Then list entire is comedy, dramas, adventure, horror, forum. You can tap here all this list or copy and paste here all this list. Dramas, adventure, adventure, horror, and foreign. Okay, then press. Okay, then add, and then press OK, and then press again OK. Okay, question is completed now. Question done. Oh, now fifteen questions. That said, filter display record for which. The rating is PG-13 only. Set filter to display the record. Okay. So click on here then select PG-13 only. Okay. Without clearing the existing filter set a filter display record which works select all and then Jenner. Okay. Its question is completed now. Select the range G4 to G20 and look at the status bar status to see PG-13 comedy earlier $954 for the month with 7 frames. Okay, then set a number filter display record where revenue is greater than to equal to 125. You can contact me for your assignment exam or Complete course through my WhatsApp and email. My WhatsApp and email are given in the description and shown on my piece screen. Okay, click on streaming revenue column. Select streaming revenue column and then sort and filter. Okay, custom auto filter. Okay, is greater than or equal to 125. Okay, it's done now. Set a filter display the release dates between 1 1 20, uh, 2015 and 7 31 2015. Okay, set a filter display release dates between. Okay, select this column and sort and filter and then right click on this and then custom auto filter is 1 1 2015 uh, and before is equal to okay 7 31 2000. 15 and then press OK. Then press OK. Okay, question is completed now. Apply condition of formatting that salad cells containing PG 13. Okay. Select this column, column B and then go to home tab and then click on conditional formatting ok go to home tab and then press conditional formatting and then the text just contains pg13 and then win then press ok question is completed now ok i have done 20 question of this exam for remaining question or you want to deal for complete course you can contact me through my whatsapp and email my WhatsApp and email are given in the description and shown on my PC screen. You can contact me easily through my WhatsApp and email. I can do all courses, accounting, finance, math, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Assess and many more courses. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel and best of luck. Thank you so much.